How, how did Marie's get started? Um, it, it started with my mother, Marie, and um, my father's name was Winfred, and he had contracted polio, and um, he was farming at the time and got really sick, and from, from that moment on, uh, my mom took care of him. The beginning of Marie's Candies started with my grandparents. My grandpa was a farmer and got polio and could no longer farm, and my grandma was making gifts of candy to give to people in the community that were really helpful during that period of time. And so a gentleman came along and said, I've got a recipe and some equipment, and why don't you go into the candy making business? So they started making candy in their house, and, and it became a business from there. I was 13 years old when, when my mother started making peppermint juice. We always said that my mom was the brawn and my dad was the brains. She'd push him out in the candy shop in the wheelchair and he'd supervise things and, and, and so forth. But so kind of starting at the age of 13 and moving right on through and then we, we left West Liberty. My wife and I, we sold our house. In February of 73, my father died and we came back for the funeral and realized that the fire had gone out for my mom. She just wasn't going to be able to, to continue by herself. So we started working with her and stayed in West Liberty and we've been here ever since. There's only 800, 1,800 people in West Liberty and you can't walk to us. You, you almost have to drive. So um, we have people that are driving 50 miles or, or even farther uh, to buy candy. And over the years, we've added a lot of different um, candies. Uh, we make about a, 120 varieties of chocolates. People can get Marie's Candies obviously right here in West Liberty, Ohio. We have a few small wholesale accounts around the area too, so there are a few locations that carry some candy of ours. Um, and then we also have a website and we're happy to ship to anywhere in the United States. Two main things that separate us from other other candy stores or some other candy stores or just candy in a grocery is, is quality and service. When, when people come in the door, we greet them and um, we give them a sample. Everybody that comes in uh, gets a sample. We try to make conversation. Um, we've, we've tried to create a, a destination here. And then quality, we, we just have never compromised. We feel that we're using the best quality chocolate and the best quality ingredients. We don't take any shortcuts. My dad has always talked about, you know, don't don't take the shortcuts with the candy. Make it you make it the best quality that you can. You need to wow the customer. You know, you need to do more than they expect or more than they anticipated. And so, I, I guess that's partially what we try to do. The staff here at Marie's Candies is a very diverse group. We have a, a wide variety of ages. We do start with high schoolers, um, but we go all the way up to uh, retired women that just want to have a part-time job that kind of keeps them going and something that they, you know, that they can enjoy making the candy or selling the candy. We hope it's an enjoyable place and, and, and um, that they, they want to stay when we hire them and, and that seems to happen quite often. Everyone does work really hard and we couldn't do it without the, the other staff members that we have. So we really do count on them and appreciate the work that they do here. What, what brings me back day after day after day and, and maintaining a business with, is um, I really like what I do. I mean, I, I like making candy. I, I like putting out a quality product. I enjoy that. There's, there's satisfaction in that. Uh, enjoy meeting people. In my opinion, the best thing about Marie's Candies is just that it's candy. It makes people happy. You know, people come in and they get a sample, and they're, it puts the chocolate puts a smile on their face. And candy is a lot of fun. It, it definitely makes people happy and makes them feel good. So it's a fun thing to sell. There, there is a, um, a lot of satisfaction, and I don't know if you'd say pride in in, in doing something well, in accomplishing something. Um, in, in continuing something that your parents did. It means a lot to me to be part of a, a family business and to be a third generation in the business. At this point, we have two children in the business, a, a, a daughter and a son, and uh, that's exciting to, to see them want to carry the business on, and so we're, we're working through that process. 
I'm very proud of the the beginnings of the business and just the real you know the really hard work that my grandparents put into it and all the years that my parents have spent building it. Um, just I'm very proud to be part of that and hope that I can continue and make it a, a success in the years to come. We just want to continue um, serving up the best chocolates around, uh, serving the community and and being a unique place for chocolates and gifts.